Hello, welcome. Let's read this problem together. Maybe the way I wrote it wasn't the best. I said, for what four values of x is the algebraic expression below not defined as a real number? So I'm really looking for the cases where this is not defined. Um, so I mean, if we had also talked about when it's uh, a complex number and not a real number, then that might be a different question. But I was trying to say, when when is this undefined? In other words, when are we dividing by 0? When does this equal 0 down here? So in order to figure that out, I'm going to say, OK, well, when uh, is x minus x to the fourth equal to 0? When does that happen? So I have these two terms, and they both have a common factor, which is x. So I try to factor that out. And I get 1 minus x to the third. Now, to go further, I'm going to recognize oh, this is the difference of cubes. Now, the difference of cubes, right, if you have a cubed minus b cubed, in this case, we have 1 cubed minus x cubed. That would equal a minus b times a, a right, squared, sorry, minus ab plus ab plus b squared. So basically, the sign order is the same sign, in this case, the difference, the opposite sign, and then positive. And if we do that here, we get 1 minus x times 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 times x, which is x, plus x squared. So now if we factor this, we know that, that well, there's four x values that would equal 0. In the first case here, if x is 0, this whole thing is 0, and it's undefined. If x equals 1, right, 1 minus 1 is 0, this whole thing is undefined. Here, we also can find out the x values that we get this 0, except we are going to find imaginary roots, because here, if we use the quadratic formula, we get negative 1 plus or minus, um, right, the square root of 1 minus 4, which is uh, negative 3 over 2. And that equals negative 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 3 over 2. And if x equals either of those values, negative 1 plus i times the square root of 3 over 2, or negative 1 minus i times the square root of 3 over 2, you'll get 0. So if any of these x values are true, and I'll circle them, this one here, 2, or 3, you, your whole denominator would be 0, and this would not be defined. It would be an undefined result. So, sorry about the, the language is confusing here. I should have said, for what four values of x is the algebraic expression below undefined? And then you could solve it from there. All right, I hope this helps.